guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nyx cage that just came out on Out of Darts and Foam Blast. So if you don't know, the Nyx cage is a cage designed by Drac Falahasa, one of the big popular YouTubers, or Draconical. Um, I don't think you need a link to find him, so you can go look him up. But um, he's a pretty big guy, and he's been designing this cage for a while now to be one of the top performance cages on the market for HVZ. Now... Starting off with the initial pressures of the cage, it's a very nice cage. It's all anodized aluminum, and the black is a very, very nice anodizing finish with a laser engraved Nyx on it. And I got serial number 43 because it's my favorite number and they had it. So I decided to jump on the cage while I could still get the serial number. So the main, like, you know, the main gimmick of this cage is the, there's two gimmicks. The wheels make a very loud, intimidating noise, kind of like a whistle. Um, and it's very intimidating, apparently. And then there are these, these little Allen keys that are included in the bin. The bin. but And it comes with screws to hold your motors. But these screws go in the back here and allow you to twist them in so you can get uh, your wheels perfectly aligned in here to a point where it's, like, literally perfect. Uh, you just got to fiddle with a little bit. Um, so that's the main gimmick of this cage is the very easy setup and very precise setup. Um, cage like dimensions, I'd say it's about a 42 mil is the, the feeling of this, you know, dart. Um, it might actually be like a 41 because the wheels obviously aren't secure. I'd say maybe like a 41.5, nothing more. Um, but it is pretty tight. You know, it's, wheels go about there. It's pretty tight. You can barely push it in, like keeping them there. Uh, so it does give a good amount of crush, but I'd say, yeah, about a 41 mil cage. Right, right, if you can see that right there. Now these were designed for HVZ and to be a nice, you know, option so that you can have a nice looking cage in your blaster. Um, you know, the only downside about this cage is it has a very nice dark guide. It has a very nice board. It has a very nice cage and wheels, but it's $95. I mean, it's a very nice cage. The quality is outstanding. I mean, they're made in the U.S., but... $95 is very steep. I mean, you can get an OFP Serenity Cage for 50 and it'll perform just about the same as this with the same crush and everything. Um, and it's in a silver or blue, depending on where you get it. There's Heston Cages, which are made in USA by a family. And they perform very well, and they are beautiful. I just put one in Interfect War and Mortuus, and I was thinking about putting this in, but the Heston one's just so accurate. I don't know about the accuracy or performance of this. I'm not going to be testing those until I actually get a blaster to put it in. I'm not the one to just have it sit here with motors and just spin and shoot it. Other people do videos like that. You can check those out, but if you want my initial impressions, here they are. It's a very nice cage, um, but there are other cages cheaper on the market that will most likely do the same thing. You can get Worker, Artifact, Heston, Riot, Cage by Hooligan. You can get Serenity by OFP, Eclipse, which would perform better than this. Um, there's just so many metal cages on the market right now, and I'm not saying this one's bad. It's a very good cage, just like most metal cages are, but it's one of the more expensive. Now, where DRS is a very expensive cage, you can barely get them, but they're well worth it for their looks and performance, more like like mostly their accuracy. This one's just meant to fling foam while looking very nice. I mean, I don't think there's going to be an accuracy gain by this because Heston and DRS, which are some of the most accurate, have brass stubs, while this is just the cage. Um... I don't think there's going to be a very much different in accuracy to a 3D printed cage because it's pretty much a 3D printed cage made out of metal, which most, you know, most metal cages are, but again, they're priced accordingly about $40 to $50. This one's $95. Um, so, in my opinion, it's a very, very nice cage. You know, it fits all standard motors and everything in here, but $95 is very steep. I don't think it should be $95. I think it should be a lot less. And I think you're paying for the name on the cage. And unfortunately, that's where we are with some companies right now, like Worker and, you know, private companies. But my final opinion is on this cage. Um, it's a very nice cage. Well worth the money if you want this type of cage. The sound's very nice from what I've heard. Um, all the parts are actually thought out very well. This dart guide's very nice and wide to catch most of your darts as they go in. Um, this bore up here is very tight to keep your darts straight going out of the flywheels. And the wheel fit and the wheels themselves are very high quality. And these screws at the back are actually a very good idea. I don't know why more people don't do this. But are all those little features worth paying $95 for without shipping when you can get different cages for that type of month, like for half the price? 
I'm not going to tell you what to think. <laughs> That's a very bad review standpoint, but um, this is more like my opinions. So uh, I think it's worth it because I just like metal cages. I was actually out of metal cages, so I needed another one, and this one's hot off the presses. So I decided to pick one up, especially since I had my favorite number again, 43. Um, it's not low, but whatever. Um, so I think it's worth it. If you want a cage like this, about HVZ spec to have a very nice professional HVZ cage. I don't know about the accuracy of these things. Accuracy could barely hit a barn. Um, and I feel like that would diminish my, like I'm more accuracy over power, 100%. Um, I like to have a good mix of the both. And I, but I do feel like this cage is going to deliver on that since it's designed for HVZ. So we'll see how it goes. But again, if you guys like my review and opinions on the NYX cage, um, I'd appreciate the like, comment, subscribe. Again, it's a very good cage. It should be dropped in price. Um, that's my one flaw with the cage. I give it like an 8.5 out of 10. The, the, you know, the 1.5 is accounting for the price. I mean, I feel like it should be priced around 50 to $60 max. Um, Heston cages are 70 and like almost 80 if you get motors, but the motors are, you know, good price and they have nice custom brass and, you know, they're designing more and more and they have nice dark, like a brass cleaner in there. But I mean, 95 for a cage with little Allen keys and uh, some screws and that, I feel way too much money. They need to lower the price if they're going to, you know, it's going to sell because Drax names on it. But again, they shouldn't be relying on that. They should be relying on the quality of the cage and shouldn't be inflating the price for a name. That's my opinion. You can yell at me all you want. That's what I'm going to say. So if you like what I've said here, again, let's please like, comment, subscribe. I'm actually almost close to 400 subs. And I think when we get to 500, I'm going to be doing a minor giveaway. And then, you know, every 500, you know, 1,000, 2,000, every big milestone, I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you guys want to be entered in that, please be subscribed to the channel. And as always, have a great day.